What's up, you sexy nerds? I'm Wildfire One. You are listening and watching Nerds New Sex Entertainment, the podcast, ep- ep- season eight, episode one forty two. Today we're going to be talking about kaiju, you know, monsters like Godzilla, Mothra, and stuff like that. And with me, I got today for that. I got a special guest, uh, someone who's been begging me to do this episode for a long time. Hi, I'm Fandom Maniacs, and I like talking about monsters and bugging wild. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what. That's pretty much the description. Yeah, so that is. Well, I mean, you you were here for the, uh, yeah, Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings podcast. So that was fun. We had a lot of good co- uh, topics and conversation on that. So today we're talking about kaiju. We're gonna talk about Godzilla. We're gonna. I mean, not just Godzilla, but I. When the first thing you think of when you think kaiju is what Godzilla. When you think old, it's, old yeah, monsters. Yeah, Godzilla. You you kind of told me this story earlier, fandom. Why don't you why don't you start with that now? Um, how were you introduced to Godzilla? Okay, so my first introduction to Godzilla was the Hanna Barbera show on Boomerang because we we always just like watch Boomerang and stuff because my dad would put it, put it on because we would watch like Scooby Doo and all that on there, and we just I just was watching Godzilla. And uh, so when I saw a movie, it was the 1984 one, I was like, why is Godzilla a bad guy? I thought he was a good guy. <laughs> Where's the magic flute that summons him? <laughs> There's, it doesn't work that way. I think no, they just they no, tried to Americanize Godzilla with a cartoon because Godzilla actually did get kind of big in the United States. Um, yeah, yeah. And of yeah, course, saying did. Godzilla um, is actually the, the whitewashed American way of saying it. It's actually uh, Gojira, I believe, how it's yeah. originally supposed to be pronounced. Yeah, it's Gojira. Gojira. So, your first introduction to to Godzilla, your first, I want to say, was that your first kaiju? Yes. Okay. That was my first kaiju. So, like I said, in the beginning of the podcast, it's usually everyone, like most people who are introduced, and we didn't know him as kaiju. We knew him as, like, like giant movie monsters just monsters yeah Yeah. of course there's more monsters there's there's like there's a mothra there's king kong which i just recently found out was a fucking kaiju which blows my mind i never looked at him because he's a giant ape well he fits it the kaiju literally just means a giant monster like that's literally what all it is so then like what about ultraman 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 is considered kaiju as well jesus but he's like he grows. He like. He's. Well, I, he's. Is it? I forget if he's a man in a suit or not. I believe he's a but, man in a suit. Yeah. It's been a while. I remember yeah, my dad telling me about. Yeah, but he fights kaiju. But he fights kaiju. Kaijus, I believe. So. Yeah. I guess he's a kai. I, I get. I don't know, guys. Watching this, let us know. Do you think Ultraman is a kaiju? Because it's hard for me to. to I mean, I guess Ultraman could technically be considered a Gundam, and then he fights kaiju. Or a mechanized. That could well, be. Not even mechanized. It's a ro- he's a, in a suit. It's not. It's yeah. a, he just grows big. So it's not necessarily he's fighting through another object. He's just fighting through a suit, which is giving him that oh power. Oh my god, he's Ant Man. Yes, he's Ant Man. Pretty much. So yeah. He, he. I. I. You know what? Let us know what you think. Is he a kaiju? Is he not a kaiju? Yeah. I don't know. I. I'm gonna say no for now. But I. I don't know what the official word is on that. Um. And then but of we course, both agree like, the Kool Aid Man is a kaiju. Yes, yes, he's um, Kool Aid Man is a kaiju. That's not Kool Aid inside of him. Uh, there's there's Mothra, Gamera, Gamera uh, there's like King Gamera, something or another. Friend of the children. Uh, King Ghidorah. King yeah, Ghidorah, and then like yeah, King Ghidorah. What was that three headed one? King Ghidorah. Ro- Rodan. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that's one. that's. King Ghidorah is the one with three heads. So Rodan is Me- Mecha Godzilla? Pterodactyl. Is Mecha Godzilla considered a uh, a kaiju? I think Mecha Godzilla is just a mech, to be honest. Because you agree. also got Mecha Khan and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they they went a little crazy with the mechs at one point. Uh, I remember. I re- well, well <laughs> it's Japan. Mechs are everywhere in Japan. Yeah, I was introduced to Godzilla as a kid through my dad through the movies. Uh, through the old black and white movies, and I used to love them. I mean, come on, it's just a. Uh, in, in retrospect, it's a dude in a suit destroying a fake uh, city model. But fuck, dude, I would have loved to have been the dude in the suit. 
Like that. It was apparently like what? really dangerous sometimes because of the pyrotechnics. Because of the pyrotechnics. They would get burned. In. Well, they're yeah. wearing they're wearing a shit ton of uh, like plastic. More or less. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, I get I get that. I, I get that some of the stuff was of course like CG or 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 animated or added in later like Godzilla's flame out of his mouth and stuff. Um, yeah, the uh, atomic flame. Yeah, the atomic flame, his special move. Atomic breath. Yeah, I get that that was added in, but I wonder if they added like if they used like a real flame to to show where it's going, like to go off of. I don't know. That would be something that would be really cool to look into. There, there were some goofy Godzilla moments. Like, at late, it was into the late 60s is when they kind of started shifting from serious... To, like, goofy. Allegory to... Yeah. Serious allegory to the atomic bombs to the goofy, more aimed toward ki- towards kids stuff. Yeah. And I think maybe that's... Possibly who was watching it at the time. Maybe they noticed there was a... Uh, like they took a poll or something. A lot something. of kids, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can go to what was created to rival Godzilla, which was Gamera. Yeah. Yeah. Who is just a giant turtle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, you know, though, some of his moves are amazing. The little spinning turtle shell moves. Mm-hmm. And Godzilla became the king of. Not the king of the monsters, the friend of children. Well, he, he, in a way, you can, he still kind of is the king of monsters. <laughs> He's the one everyone yeah. remembers. So, except for King yeah. Kong, who, um, I don't think they made. We made. I don't. I think he just kind of King Kong just became a kaiju over time. Like, it, yeah, he, did, he wasn't meant to be a giant movie monster. I mean, he was meant to be a giant movie monster, but not in the way of Godzilla. I think it was. Yeah. It was more because isn't King Kong based off a book? Uh, I know there was a it was there was just the 1930 like the nine cool movie of it. Movie, I don't yeah. know. I could be wrong. I, I'm I you know like this goes to show how much I know. It's somehow between them and then and now, King Kong became a kaiju. That King Kong yeah. fought. Yeah, and the, yeah, the moment, the moment yeah. King Kong fought Godzilla is when he became a kaiju. That's what it. That's I think what happened. Back in like 60 something was when they for when they first fought. Yes, and then. And that was actually a really again. good battle. That was a really good battle. That was a good there's movie. Just Godzilla, too. There was, there's a, there's just a, a scene of King Kong just stuffing a freaking tree down, yeah, down his throat. Yeah, down his throat. And it's freaking hilarious. Because he's fucking, because he's fucking King Kong. See, I'm looking at a Mothra, list of movies here. Like, all, the Godzilla series, uh, I think the first Godzilla came out in, according to this, I could be wrong, 1954. No, that's correct. That's correct. That is the first Godzilla movie. And then there was another yeah. one. Godzilla Raids Again, 1955. That was the first one with uh, Anguillus in it. The... And then 1962 was King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah. And I, I don't think there was, between 55 and 62, I don't think there was any more like Godzilla movies, standalone movies. No, most of the Godzilla movies usually had him like. He was like a. Uh, him and Mothra fought. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Godzilla and Mothra was in 64. And then you had Rodan. And then you had Rodan and uh, King Ghidorah, the. Mm-hmm. Ghidorah, the three headed monster, yep. and King Ghidorah in that one. Uh, Invasion of the yeah, Astro Monsters have... is 1965. They they put out a lot of... They put two movies out in 64. One in 65. Uh, Ibura. I can't... I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. E-B-I-R-A-H. Horror yeah, of Horror the of the Deep. Uh, and Son of Godzilla. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Why do, do we... Do we, Well, I this, mean, Americanized Son of Godzilla movie. is Godzuki. I don't think he had... I don't think the Son of Godzilla in the movie had I, he was kind of cute yeah I, I see that's horrible his name was Minya Minya his name was Minya yeah, yeah. Godzuki was, was the Americanized version of Godzilla and he looked just like Minya yeah um, here, oh god I'll, let me put let me put you on the, so that so we can see what you're streaming here and yeah, there we go and I'm the pretty pretty face on the side here so yeah that is Godzuki or Minya 
Ugh. Yeah, and, like, that is Minya. And it, uh, it was meant to be cute, and I think. Uh, oh my God, there's Minya and, and a, I think there's the, Minya and a Kenny. And I think at Kenny. this point is when Godzilla was meant to be for kids. This is when they. Yeah. Yeah, they, he was too cute, and um, well, you know, we might as well ride the Godzilla train all the way till the next monster. So. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Son of Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla was in that. In, in 72, there was Godzilla vs. Gigan. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Godzilla vs. Megalon was on, it was in 1975. Um, and he looks dumb, that that monster does. <laughs> Megalon? Yeah. Giant cockroach. Yeah, that's what Basically he looks like, what a giant cockroach. Megalon is. So Mecha Godzilla is definitely one that I think a lot of people will remember because it was a good battle. Like there was a lot of good fight scenes mm-hmm. in there. Well, Mecha Godzilla was actually we actually didn't like humans didn't make it. An alien species. Oh, aliens did to conquer the world. That makes sense. I, I yeah, forgot that aliens was a thing. We built it again. Yeah, in the early yeah, <laughs> aliens tend to be a thing in the Godzilla movie. So did Godzilla die? So Godzilla ha- didn't die until the Heisei series, which had a lot of different monsters. They had some original ones, and they had some. Okay. Uh, well, the reason I ask so is because 1984 have, we have the Return of Godzilla. Yeah. Which is the. Which is the one I think you were talking back, about. Yeah, which is the bringing the back of the, is the revival of it. Yeah. Oh, and okay. Then five years later, you got. Godzilla versus Biolanti, which is basically just a giant Ant. plant monster. Uh, that's cool. Uh, King Gojira, Godzilla versus Mothra, ninety-two. I didn't realize Mothra. I yeah. didn't realize that Godzilla versus Mothra was so recent. And then Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla two. Yeah. Space Godzilla. Godzilla versus. Oh yeah. Space Godzilla. You're ready to ready to see this mother. Yeah, let's mother see what Space Godzilla looks like. Oh my god, it's like they ran out of ideas. It's literally just Godzilla from space. I'm not even kidding. That's literally all he is. Here we go. Yeah. That, there oh, we he's go. just got a few more weird spots on his back, and he's yeah, a more, he's a little more bloated. Yeah, he's he he has like different like crystal powers and stuff. So Godzilla, and this yeah. is the one you were talking about, Godzilla versus Destroya. Yes, which, that is the one where Godzilla dies, and then. Show so, me that picture of Destroya you showed me earlier. You have the baby Godzilla, Godzilla Junior at that point, and then you have the normal OG Godzilla. Well, yeah. he's not the OG Godzilla, because the OG he, Godzilla was the 1954 one, and yeah. Uh, Godzilla's gone through a lot of changes. So Godzilla dies so basically what it is is godzilla is overheating mm-hmm. and so he kind of dot dot he dies from destroy a kill basically killing him like okay. his radiation is like overheating him or something like that and so then baby godzilla godzilla jr takes out destroy a. okay um it's basically what happens in other words in other words but godzilla's yeah, so, too old and and now he he just can't handle. So this it. is what Destroya started out as was this little like horseshoe crab thing, and then okay. because of radiation, it slowly just evolved all these weird ass forms until you got this Satan. Basically, yeah. Satan. You can... Basically, basically the butthole. That's like, not even my final nasty. form. So. And then 1998, we have just regular Godzilla again, which that was the Matthew Broderick movie, I believe. That's what we don't talk about. That was the Godzilla that was really bad. Really, Mm -hmm. really bad. Um, And then, of course, Godzilla 2000. They did a lot of Mecha Godzilla movies, didn't they? Yeah. Another one in 2002. Tokyo SOS. I remember that one. I remember vaguely watching that one. 2003. Uh, Final Wars. Godzilla Final, Final Wars. Wars is really good. Okay, and then Godzilla 2014, I remember that one. Shin Godzilla, which yeah, everyone was that's... really excited about. Uh, Planet of the Monsters, uh, that was on Netflix, I believe, was it not? Yeah, it's an anime. Yeah, that was a good one. I I, I, I did watch that one. Um, 
Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle. That's 2018. I haven't seen that one. I don't know if that's a Netflix thing. Yeah, three of these are um like are animes. So okay, it looks like Shin Godzilla was the live action, and then Planet is uh the Planet yeah. Eater. I don't know what that is. King of the Monsters. I remember this one. This is another one that a lot of people freaked out about when they heard about. Um, I kind of want to watch it too. And then the recent Godzilla vs. King Kong. Or Godzilla yeah. vs. Kong. Which uh, I hadn't watched it. I had heard a lot of bad reviews. Um, I still want to watch it because it's Godzilla and Kong. Um, I've always been... Ty, and it was really good. I really Oh, it was really it. good? Okay, because um, heard, I've heard that it was yeah. like five minutes of Godzilla. Oh, Rodan was the amazing. flying one. It was amazing. Yeah, he's the one who just basically is a pterodactyl. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Kaka! Basically, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so Rodan is is the flying kaiju. Um, and then, of course, cool. Mothra is... The other flying um, kaiju. Is... Yeah, she's a, the moth. She's one of the ones that's, like, always... Real, is always kind of been portrayed as good. She's yeah, like she, a guardian well, she, of an she always, island. Yeah, and, she's like a guardian, and she's she really like she doesn't shoot fire; she just puts you to sleep. I always liked Mothra. Like I love because I mean you got the original Mothra, which is just basically the giant moth, and then the one from yeah. Which, by the way, uh, every time I see a giant moth in real life, that's what I call it, Mothra. A Mothra, yeah. It's a Mothra. Um, yeah. Mothra, of course, was 1961. We were just talking about Mothra. Frankenstein Conquers the yeah. World? What? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is that a thing? A... Okay, let me look up. Let me, let, it's let, a let kaiju you film! It's a, it, okay, yep. it's 1965. I Frankenstein it's Conquers the World. I have not... Yeah, there you go. Right there. Okay, let me look at this. He fights Baragon. What in the there fuck? You no, you don't. You yeah, don't. You don't is. fuck with with the giant Frankenstein, Frankenstein apparently. monster. And I'm just gonna. Yep. Gonna. I'm just gonna say Ultraman. That's it. I'm not even gonna go through all these because there's a lot of fucking kaiju, a lot of different. And it doesn't say what he's fighting in most of these. Christ. There. He. Ultraman was a big series, obviously. Uh, what in the hell is this thing? That is Murakazilla. Uh, Crack yeah, there's a um, there's a crossover of Attack on Titan and Marvel actually. Well, that, well that's a great segue. Um, well, you you said yourself that Attack on Titan, the the giant monster or the creatures, whatever you want to call them, are the Titans, kaiju. Yeah, the Titans are kaiju. Prove yes, it to me were... in the audience. Explain to me why. I mean, other than what you just said, why would they would be kaiju? A giant monster. Yeah, a giant monster of any type featured in Japanese fantasy and science fiction movies and television programs. Okay, well, there you go. That more I, You sold me on that one. Yeah. The Titan is more or less a kaiju. That makes sense to me. Death Kappa? Kaijus. What in the hell is that? I don't know. You should look that up. Oh, my God. I just saw a picture of it. Death Kappa. What in the actual fuck is this? Look at thing? it. Look at I it. I am scared. Look at it. What in the Feel fuck my pain. That? Feel it. What? I mean, I understand that it's supposed to be a kappa, but what the fuck is that thing? I don't even know what a kappa is. So basically they were kind of like water monsters that would okay, like... Okay, that's cool. Pull, that would pull people into like rivers and stuff. Then there's of course specific rim like there's a lot of different kaiju and, yeah. and creatures and like they don't even have name. Oh, they don't have specific names for those from what I've seen. They have like category blah kaiju and that's kind of cool like and they all look different for the most part. I mean it's people in giant mech suits fighting monsters. What mm -hmm. they're not to like. I pulled, I pulled the monstrosity back up. Oh. Death kappa. Like, you can't even see that. You can't. No, you can't. Good. Look, look at that. Look at, look at, look at what's on the. That is fucking horrifying. I like it's not even. Really it's it. not even horrifying in a scary way. It's a horrifying that someone thought to make that. 
motherfucker. <laughs> so, so who is who would you think is, is stronger? Um, the five-headed monster king thing. What's his name? Uh, king Ged- King Ghidorah. G- Ghidorah. Do you think King Ghidorah mm-hmm. is stronger than than Destroya? Who hmm. do you think would win in that battle? Because I don't I think we've seen those two that, fight yet. No, I honestly think Destroya would kick Ghidorah's ass. I think so too, just by looking at them. Des- Destroya is always re- evolving. One of its abilities is it that is a Pokemon. it can suck the DNA out of people and evolve. It's literally Cell. Yeah, it's basically From Cell. Ball yeah, Z. That's it's the Cell. Best way to put. Best way to put it. Got a hold of some of Ghidorah's DNA. That would be fucking beans and awesome. Shit. It it would kick Godzilla's ass. Every it would. The world would be Japan, do you hear us? Do this. Do this. Like, bring Destroya let, back and make this battle happen. No, with Universal's MonsterVerse, who knows what we could see. Yes. And I, I'm excited. I want to see this. And, I mean, you could even uh, think about it. Like, you could even have Ultraman come in and fight this motherfucker. Talking about. So there's Godzilla. What the fuck is Muto? Muto's, those are the bad guys in the, uh, those are the kaijus that Godzilla fought in the... Oh, okay. 2014. Female and... Have you not seen the 2014 ones? No. It makes sense that the female would be huge, because in the wild, most females are actually bigger than the males. Makes sense. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Rodan, Adult Mothra is huge. Yeah, Adult Mothra, Rodan, Eudora... Rodan. All I know is you see this thing coming at you, you might just shit your pants. I am these are actually like compared to that thing. Yeah. Kong is Kong twenty twenty. Kong is is pretty is pretty tall comparison. There's that big Scylla, Skyla, Sy- whatever. Yeah, Skyla. Uh, so these are some of the titans that rose up out of the ground when Ghidorah. Behemoth, Gamera. Looks very. Spiny. I want to see Camera and Godzilla fight. It's about time they fight. They Don't haven't you fought. Think just to see, they have never fought. That could be the lead into the whole story that we just came up with with the whole destroy a thing. That could be it right there. They they fight. They wake up Destroya from fucking whatever reason. In comes Destroya. Sucks the, their fucking their then DNA. They to, then they have to team then up. They have to up to beat it yes yeah. and then and then somehow like king whatever fucking five head monster comes Dora. out yeah and it sucks that Great. fucking thing off and becomes like the ultimate 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 and then like you can you have like five or six you can disney uh, you can do disney go disney on this you can have five or six fucking movies that people would love to watch but suck it off i love how you I, yes the words there no well you know monster movies like that kaiju monster movies are never going to be something that's out of style they're going to come back into yeah. style they're going to be fun to watch because it's always fun to watch it it's, it's almost like, like wrestling you know how people like wrestling you know like wwe and stuff it's almost like that except for with giant monsters with fucking powers who doesn't like that i think we've covered just about everything i can think of as far as kaiju for the moment uh, yeah is there anything else you would like to add if you think of any kaijus we missed just Put them down in the comments, I guess. Yeah, put them down It'll in the comments because I'm sure, idea. I'm sure there's about a billion other kaiju that we kind of missed. I'm sure that Ultraman fought yeah, a thousand like, things that, because I kind of skipped through all the Ultraman stuff because the Ultraman's badass, but like, there's so there's much so Ultraman. Much Ultraman. <laughs> there's so much Ultraman. Um, I mean, I, I guess we could even say, dare I say it, Power Rangers had some kaiju. Yeah. Voltron too. Voltron too. Think about it. Voltron especially. Death Kappa. Why? Death Kappa. Why? You never it forget. Looks like no. You want to? It looks like the leprechaun, like the leprechaun from the leprechaun horror movies. Mm-hmm. Fucked a bird. That's yes, what it, looks like. it does. It does. Like a giant bird. All right, guys. Well, with that said and done, I think we're gonna end the episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Remember the death, Kappa. He will be in your dreams.